Well, hello there, Pisces. This is going to be for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay, before we begin, um, since I started with a new div definition or tool here, um, I just wanted to um, say to you guys, um, someone left a comment that's kind of loud for their earbuds, so I'm putting this bag on my lap. I'm trying to be very quiet when I pull these um, words, and I'm also going to um, say... What's the word before I pull them so that you know that it might be a little noisy for anybody wearing earbuds. Okay, now on this side is your cards and this side is your person's cards. Okay, let's start out with what is currently going on for you, Pisces. Ooh, bottom of the deck, we have the star. Very interesting. I think I'm getting here. Let me tap into this a little more. There is someone. It, it almost feels like um, remote viewing or something. It feels like someone's tapping into your energy through the fifth dimension. Or this could be your energy too. But we do have the high priestess. This could be um, Cancer or Virgo. Page of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Of course, the star is Aquarius. Let's see. Let's get into this a little more now. Something coming back around maybe too. Someone might be trying to plan to come back around. And whether they're aware of it or you're aware of it or anybody's aware of it, they might be tapping off. The high priestess also could be something hidden. Someone might be trying to figure out something hidden. Now, it also could be not just the fifth dimension. It could be on this dimension, third dimension, that someone is trying to find out what you're up to, what's going on in your life, or you can be trying to do that towards someone too. Let's see, why is the page of swords here? And we have the nine of coins. A very independent energy. Independently seeking knowledge. Trying to learn something. Inquiring about you. Or you inquiring about someone. Uh, it also could represent someone being single. But also being independently successful here. Now the High Priestess. Three of Cups. I don't know, your energy just feels very in tune, very, your intuition's on fire, and almost like there's something, I know, you're having a lot of fun, there's something coming in for you, something to do with your intuition. Okay, what about the judgment card? We have the four of cups here. Someone wants to come back into your energy, and we do have the strength card, Leo energy here. They're trying to um, figure a way to come back towards you. Gain the strength, gain the knowledge. You're standing out, though. Your intuition and everything, you're standing out. Your intuition's on fire right now, and you might be getting noticed for it. And there also might be people um, watching you. It might be like, okay, you can be on, online here you doing YouTube, and you're getting noticed with this here. You're standing out. A lot of attention here. Okay. Let's see. What's going on with your person? Okay. So they have the Five of Swords. Oh, they want victory here. They're looking for recognition. I think they're looking for recognition from you. Um, Queen of Cups. That could be you. Pisces. Um, Cancer Scorpio. We also have the Queen of Pentacles. There's someone else here, too. Give me um, that could be them. I mean, gender does not matter, male or female. It's just the energy of these cards. So, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with the Queen of Pentacles. Let's see, why do we have the Five of Swords here? Wow, Queen, look at all these queens. Got all the queen bees around you or, or this person. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, this person might have a few choices here. 
but they're reminiscing about something from the past here. Something about this nurturing, caring ways here. Um, we do have the King of Pentacles. Okay. So maybe you could be the King of Pentacles and they could be the Queen of Pentacles and there's a really deep connection here. Financially, you might be connected to or being very stable or they see you as a more stable fit for them. And they do have choices too with this Queen and this um, Queen of Wands and the Queen of... Um, Queen of Cups. We're gonna, and sometimes these queens have been coming out like this together. There's like a almost seems like an energy of the person just combining all these different um, attributes to try to make themselves whole in a way. But trying to make a decision here. You know, um I want to, um, okay, what's the word? I'm going to pull some on um, this um, Queen of Pentacles with the Six of Cups. That's the one I really want to know about here. What's going on with this? We have Finish Money. Important. Fast. So something finished fast here. And it was something that was important about money. So they must have tied something up with money. This also with the Queen and the King of Pentacles. That's, a you know, the financial, the stable, the, that would be more the material. So someone finished up something, maybe with something in the past. Or maybe your connection with them in the past. But this was important. It had something to do with money. Okay, let's get on to the next one. Let's see if hey, what we can get more on this. This is what's currently happening. They might be finishing up a connection or doing something so they could come to you. It might be something to do with their money. Maybe they're in uh, some kind of financial agreement with someone. And they're finishing it up so they could come towards you. Let's see. What are your thoughts about your person? Ooh, there's a Queen of Cups. Okay, your thoughts are actually to have an offer here, or may you're hoping they give an offer to you. You might be the Queen of Cups then too. It's um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, but also there's an offer coming here. Very nurturing, loving, and I'm getting for some of you guys. This is a mother that is uh, in the way here for somebody. Um, it's not for everyone. Then we have the strength card again. So I'm trying to get the strength. Me, we have the strength here twice now, right now. Um, coming up, Leo is getting the strength to do something. Yeah, for some, it's gonna be different for everyone. But for some of you, I get that this Queen of Cups is actually a mother. What might be their mother interfering in this connection? Let's see. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Knight of Wands. Yeah, your thoughts are are maybe passionate to go to them. To give them an offer here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Playboy, playgirl, the other group. What about this Queen of Cups? What's going on with this Queen of Cups? Four Swords. There's some kind of heartache here that someone's trying to heal. Over this is taking a break. Taking a break. I, for someone I feel very strong. It is a mother influence. That they had to maybe part ways with their mother. Or take a different path. Or, or do different from what their mother wanted. Or something to that effect. And here is like taking a breather. This could be you. Your thoughts are, okay, I'm taking a time out. I'm just meditating and trying to get away from this energy because it's caused some pain. Okay, and there's like the nine of your thoughts about them. Maybe you know they're not sleeping at night because of this anguish. Maybe they have to pick between you and their mother. Okay, here's a nine of swords. Or maybe it could be a wife. I'm feeling more strong, but the, I'm feeling a strong motherly energy, but their their wife could have been more like treating them like a mother. It could have been more like instead of a, a heavy sexual, um, a pot, um, passionate relationship, it was more like mother and son. Um, judgment. There's a judgment card. Okay. So we have judgment again. And this card here is... The Ten of Coins, worried about this a long-term commitment, worried about finances. There is a strong, you're looking at this person and thinking, I don't know, maybe you're not sure about commitment or maybe you're not sure about the finances here. That might be interfering. Hmm. 
there's a judgment though. Someone, someone, might, someone wants to come back in, but there's something. This is very confusing. But let's see. Let's go on to their side. What are uh, their thoughts about you? I'm almost feeling like you guys are flip flopping on me while I'm trying to read this. It's very, it's, it feels like very difficult energy to get through. So let's see here. Okay, Minerva, Taurus energy. Judgment again. There's strong judgment. Some something come back. But look at that. The Ten of Pentacles. Okay, fighting something, trying to um, trying to get a handle on something. Here's a long term commitment, trying to bring something back around. Taurus energy. I think this person wants to be in a long term commitment with you. Their thoughts are they want to do this, but okay. Let's get some more cards here. I'm telling you, this is a tough one. I'm getting having. I feel almost feel like I'm trying to um, break my way through like a, a a wall here. Like someone doesn't want me to know something. Okay, the heart bit. Being left out in the cold. They're afraid of. Wait, someone's afraid of commitment. Okay, the judgment card. They they have a lot of love for you. And they're waiting for an opportunity of time. Look at this death card. Scorpio energy. They want to bring they definitely want to bring this back around. But there's influences around them. There's energies around them. There's um something to do with this money. They also there's like you know, I want to pull what the word on this um Queen of Wands with this five. Gotta get more on that. I wanted to see what I was going to get first before I went back on those cards, on um, those people. Let's see. We have Mary. Want to marry. So this might, this might be representing you too. A tower. Ooh, spying. Okay, I did. You had a spy in there. You had a spy in here. So someone was spying here. Could have been this. This could have been. Now this is different. I'm getting so, I'm getting so many guides tell me stuff at once here i have two things that they're saying someone wanted to get married to you and there's a tower that something broke this up someone was spying and this person for some of you is representing you that you're the one that very attracted to there's a lot of chemistry and there's someone else that i'm getting for somebody else my guys are saying this person was the flirt the one that came in and started trouble that they don't want you to have this person they want to be married to them but also this person wants to be married to you and this person is causing trouble yeah there feels like there's a lot of energies in here whoa they're all over the place now this is this devil oh devil card oh my gosh the death card is there's a devil energy around because I could I could feel someone like this one here it's I can tell you it's two this card I'm splitting it two some is representing of you and how they feel about you and some is someone that's starting trouble that is um not a mistress but a um someone that's trying to break you guys up or trying so trying to butt in to this relationship but we do have um the death card here this is the ending of a rebirth and someone's transforming something here okay um let me get some look what's the word on this king of uh, king knight of wands and um the pentacle here the page of pentacles i'm telling you this energy is really hard here it's very difficult okay love mature love okay message immature wow okay so i think you are mature and they're immature because we do have a page. There's love. There's a message of love, though. Probably coming from someone that's immature. But you are the mature one. Oh, boy. I'm, this is a tough, tough read. Okay, now. Let's see. What are your feelings towards your person? What are your feelings towards your person? I hope this makes sense. It doesn't make sense to me. But it doesn't have to make sense to me. Oh, my God. The Queen of Wands. <laughs> the queen of wands is there there's someone that is wanting this long term this they've been waiting okay so this is your feelings you have passion for this person you want this commitment this is aries leo sagittarius this is taurus energy and your feelings are you're going to wait I think you can wait to see how things play out five is also change oh wheel of fortune divine timing destiny 
This is getting very complicated. Very complicated energy. It feels like there's different people around this person influencing them. And for some of you, it feels like different parts of themselves. Wow. Okay, why do we have the Queen of Wands? Why do we have the Queen of Wands? Two of Swords. Trying to make a decision here. You're trying to decide on something here. Have to make a decision. Why do we have the Hierophant here? Six of Cups. Wow. Yeah. Feeling this deep connection. Feeling this. Oh, also the faith. You you really feel like you have a past life connection with this person. There's a lot of memories and it's, it's a lot of terms of commitment. Okay, what about this three of wands? Why do we have three of wands here? Temperance, trying to balance things out. We also have the ace of cups. You have a lot of love. A lot of love for this person. A lot of emotions, a lot of love, but there's so much. It feels like, you know, I'm, I'm seeing like... A, a, entanglement there's some kind of entanglement that i can't untangle it almost feels like i'm getting blocked by spirit so because you're someone's not supposed to know something here or it's not supposed to come out yet okay you know i do want to know more about why is this queen of wands here what's the word what's the word on this queen of wands and making a decision caring gift honest honest and caring gift and a family so somehow why am i feeling like maybe their family feels like you're a gift to them you know that they would want to see them with you even though I'm supposed to be seeing how your feelings are for them. But I'm feeling it that way. Unless you feel their family is a gift. And honestly. Okay, whichever way it resonates with you guys. But I'm really feeling very strongly that their family. Even though this is your feelings for them. Is coming out as you are a gift. And they want you to be with them. With this person. Their family does. Oh, this is so confusing. I hope it makes sense to somebody. Okay, um, what are their feelings for you? Wow. They're willing to fight for this. They see you as their ten of cups. There's a lot of happiness there. They're willing to fight for this and they want to come with an offer. Okay, we do have them. They're trying to manifest something here. There's a whole lot of energy around them right now that is confusing them. Whether it's different parts of themselves or different people. Also, something to do with this finishing something with part of money is concerned. Okay, now, let's clarify this Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Oh, Queen of Pentacles. There's too many uh, queens in here. <laughs> we do with a lot of queens. Okay, Queen of Pentacles, happiness. So this is yes, he in the beginning I thought you were the king and queen together. So maybe they are the king, you're the queen, and they see this happening, but they have to finish finish some important business. Unless they unless there's somebody that you were married to before and they and they have to tie these things up and then start new. I don't know. Here we got spy card. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Someone's watching though. Someone is watching whether they're watching you, which I felt here. Someone's watching here. I felt like spying here. There, I think there's a there's almost feels like this is so so um complicated. It's so entwined. It feels like there's a lot of different people, and they and people are watching each other. <laughs> they're spying. Oh my gosh. Okay, why do we have this seven of wands here? Oh my God, the Ten of Cups again. This person's fighting for this because they believe this is the ultimate happiness. They can't get this happiness for anybody else but you. Okay, now why do we have the Knight of Cups? Oh, the Strength card again. They're getting the strength to come towards you with an offer. And we have the Knight of Swords coming in quick. I feel this is this person's energy. It's just, it almost feels like there's so many. They might see you as the Queen of Wands, the Queen of everything you know it's like or the queen of wands i'm gonna say the queen of wands and the queen of pentacles is you more the queen of cups can be you 
but it almost feels like a wife or a mother okay let's see i want to um get the word on this queen of pentacles now what's the word on this queen of pentacles karma confess admitted okay so the confess and admitted the karma may this person had to go through some karma or they feel this karma i mean karma could be good and bad may they feel like you're meant to be together so this is karma and they're confessing this they're admitting to this may they weren't a person that would admit to something like this before but now they're saying okay i get it i i understand why things are happening this is karma but i really feel they have a strong attraction thinking they're supposed to be with you Whew, okay let's see what action might you take towards this person what action might you take? Ooh, King of Wands. Okay. This. Wow. Stre um, look at this strength. A very strong Leo. This strength card is coming up over and over and over again. I think you both need strength to get through this because it's so complicated. So entwined. Now we have the King of Wands here. So you might see them as your king of wands. They see you as their your as their queen of wands. There's a lot of passion between you. This has been an ending that they both of you want to bring back together, but you're trying to figure out how to do this, how to balance things out. This is the transform major transformation you get the death card, Scorpio energy. You both have the death card here. Okay. Not in the same place, but you both came up with the death card and something ended and bring something around, transformation. Could be dealing with Scorpio. It's very strong Scorpio, Leo. Okay, let's see. And the magician that's trying to manifest here is Aries or Aquarius. Okay, why do we have a King of Wands? Five of Cups. Hmm, okay. What about the Death card? The Devil. Hmm. I said, you know, it was before when, my, when I had Scorpio over here. I called that Scorpio, uh, I mean, that, that, that death card, the devil card by mistake. And now this is coming together with this. This is ending. Oh my gosh, you can see. Ending for a new beginning, trying to do something here. The two of pentacles. Ooh, and the eight of swords feeling trapped. But we do have the six of pentacles. Oh my, this is so complicated. The energies are just all, it almost feels like the energies are swirling around and changing and shifting. I'm, I'm getting like a feeling with this reading that whatever you're dealing with this person, it seems like every time you think you have a handle on something, it switches gears, it changes. It it just, one minute's here, the next minute's here, and then it changes this, and then, minute, okay, I got a handle on this, I know what's going on. Nope, it changes again. That's the energy I feel. My head is hurting now, trying to figure out what's going on here. So this is, um, this this is what action you might take. You're afraid of getting abandoned by this King of Wands because of these negative energies around with this devil, Capricorn energy. But this ending for a new beginning, do you take a chance? Can you balance this out? You're in your head about it. You're not doing anything. You cannot do anything because you don't know what's happening here. This is too crazy. Totally messed up. I don't, you know, it's so hard to read. Okay, let me, I'm going to pull some words on this uh, King of Wands with the five of cups here just feeling this loss regret not knowing what's going to happen here you know it's like we have very soon expose oh there's a tower so very soon there's going to be a tower that expose never never okay you never expected this tower to come and very soon it's going to expose something here. Yeah, so you just got to sit tight. This person, someone has a lot of regret here with this Five of Cups. I'm not sure if this will work. May they think it will never work. And now there's a tower. There's something that's going to be ex coming out that's going to expose something. And it's going to happen very soon. This is quick. Tower is quick. Quick change. Change. And we got very soon on top of it. But never ever did you expect what is going to happen here. And someone's trying to bring this into balance though. Wow. Oh my. This is so intense. <laughs> okay. What action might they take towards you? What action might they take towards you? Wow. Look at these pentacles. They're thinking about money. 
They're thinking about material. Oh, justice. They want to bring justice in. Libra energy. Okay. So they want to come in with an offer. They want to be brought out of the cold because they want to work on this with you. They want to be able to work this out. Okay, why do we have the Page of Pentacles here? Why is the Page of Pentacles here? They want to be successful. They want to come in with a good offer to be successful with you. Ooh, and then we have the Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Very strong earth sign here. And they're going to fight for this connection. They're going to fight for this partnership. Ooh, we got the Knight of Cups too. There, you know, there's a lot of people that might be interested in, in you too. But this person knows that they're going to fight for you. So this could be that there's other people coming towards you too at the same time. I mean, we have the Knight of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. We have the um, Six of Wands here coming towards you. I mean, this is the victory this person wants, who is a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. Okay. Okay, who am I going to try to clarify here? Let's, um, I'm getting drawn to this one. Let's see um, what's going on with this Knight of Pentacles, with this Five of Pentacles, afraid of being left out or abandoned but coming trying to come in okay what's the word what's the word third party fear of third party player <laughs> will you so there there is something about a third party going on here someone in uh, a third party could be family I do get, I still get a strong energy of a mother interfering or other people interfering. And this person could be considered a player. Or a player is coming in here. But will you? Okay. Let me see. Let me, um, what's the word on this will you? Give me more. Will you what? Will you what? Keep money. Will you keep lying about money? So many. Okay, someone feels that you are a, a soulmate, but will you keep the money or will you keep lying about the money? Something about money here. We got money here, money here. So they might, this might be a connection with you with money, and this comes back around again. But this person sees you as a soulmate. There's other people around. There's definitely other people around here too. This uh, this reading is so complicated. I don't even know if I want to post this. I don't. <laughs> too confusing. You know, I'm putting it up there. You guys, I don't know. It might, you might say this doesn't make any sense. It's crazy. Or someone might, you know, someone has to hear it. Otherwise, it, the guys wouldn't give it to me. But I've been getting like a lot of different information come from different guys. And say, talking at the same time, it's been very difficult to try to get through this. Because there's a lot of energy, a lot of energy around you. A lot of energy, even more so around this person that you're interested in. They feel like they have a lot of people around them. And they want justice. They want you, but there's other people interested in them. Or else there's other people that want to keep you guys apart. All right, let's, um, what we're going to do is we're going to see what signs we have. And um, I hope this resonates with someone or makes sense to someone or gives someone some kind of clarity or, or some kind of understanding, something or other. We have, you know, towers coming out. We we have something with the money, cheating, lying. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay, let's see. Do I have cheater? Or maybe I thought I had cheater. But we have lying. Well, we have third party. Could be. Okay, let's see. What sign can we be dealing with here? Um, Pisces. There you go. Right up front. Could be dealing with no Pisces. Could be just your strong energy. Sagittarius. Leo, Cancer, Cancer, can oops, and they're flying out. Okay, I'm taking these because they wanted to come out. We have Pisces again and Gemini. A lot, yeah, I'm saying there's a lot of people involved here and Capricorn, and I think they're all there's a lot, a lot of people <laughs> somehow in this connection in this something to do with something interfering or something or other there just feels like a lot of people 
And I'm feeling like for some of you, there might be other people around this person or, or coming in, but very strong feel that their family likes you. You're a gift to them. But there's other people. This might, person might be very attractive and gets a lot of attention. And there's a lot of people trying to knock down their door to get to them. Because it feels like all this, I, I'm, all my energy is getting me pulled over here. What is all these people here? And this is presently around them. So maybe right now they're actually available, single and available, and they're all sw swarming around them or something like that. That's what it feels like. Totally exhausting. <laughs> well, guys, so this could be placement in your chart, placement in their chart, but I do feel there are many people here. I never had so many of these um, sign cards out before. It's like, and I had to put them down because they went, they came flying out, wanting to be out. So, hey, Please leave me a comment. I'd like to know what's going on. If this resonates, let me know, please. If it doesn't, okay, I understand. And that makes perfect sense because it's crazy. <laughs> okay. And um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, please. I appreciate all you like, share, subscribe. I hope to see you guys again real soon. Thank you so much.